Good evening and welcome everyone. It's your boy Chill Maze out here on a Tuesday night. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How's it going? Mad, good evening. KW, how's it going YouTube? Good to see ya. Hey, yo, it's Tuesday, so you know what that means. It means it's Tubin Tuesday. Except tonight we're going to be doing Micro Tubin Tuesday. We're going to be flying the Honda Jet on like a normal little regional tube route. Just the Honda Jet tonight. Um... I've flown it like once or twice when it first came out, and I figured, hey, I'm gonna fly it again, check it out, and we'll see how it goes. As well as tonight, we're gonna be checking out the Sweden Triple Pack by Orbex. Uh, you can find it here. We're gonna check out the first half of it, the first airport and the second airport tonight on this Tube and Tuesday. Um, after that, we'll probably finish it off tomorrow with another tube and another tube flight and go from there after that. Um, otherwise, tonight's going to be a shorter night. Started late and I don't have time to squeeze both flights in tonight. So, oh, is, is the music too loud? Okay. So, um, yeah. I just lost my train of thought with the with the music being too loud. So yeah, we're gonna check out two of the three sceneries tonight. Uh, let's get to it here. We'll show you. Um, we are doing this here. We are starting at Karuna Airport in the, pretty much the very north of Sweden, almost here. Echo Sierra November Quebec. Echo Sierra November Quebec is gonna be our departure airport tonight. From Echo Sierra November, yeah, Quebec, Karuna, we are going to head south for 242 miles. And we are going to land at Umea. Umea? I'm not sure how you... Umea, I would believe is how you pronounce it. Um, Echo Sierra November Uniform. So, we're going to hit both of these two airports tonight. Scenery for both. We're going to do a deep dive preview, check out the scenery. Get the plane going, get up in the air, get to our destination, repeat the process, do the same thing, and then I'll probably end the stream or do something else real quick. We'll just see what time it is. But yeah, I don't have time to hit both of these tonight, so we'll do a two-parter for this. All right, so Echo Sierra November Quebec is our departure. Um, boom. Weather. All right, there's Karuna up here. Umia is right down here. All right, so it's 17 degrees Fahrenheit at Karuna, 28 at uh, Umea. Uh, so winds look fine. Winds up around 30,000. Uh, it's what we expect, right? A strong west wind blowing through. Uh, so we have a high crosswind tonight at cruise, but be expected. Uh, satellite. Um, well, there's definitely cloud cover. I don't see anything on the radar around Corona. There is radar or precipitation on the radar down near Umea. But if we look at our clouds here, yeah, clouds are super low. Cloud base, super low, and no visibility at all. Um... So, we'll load live weather. We can fly this totally instrument, right? Uh, won't be a big deal. We can load live weather and um, go from there. And if it's too bad, we'll go to a preset. We'll go to a preset if it's too bad. Otherwise, I think we can get to it, folks. Um, yeah. All right, let me get my screen green set up and all that fun stuff oh let me fire up uh, Volanta tonight guys so I can have flight tracking and all that fun stuff get that awesome little HUD thingy at the top of the screen Volanta gives me so 
We'll fire that up. You guys ever check Volanta out? It's like a flight planner, flight tracker software. Um, basically a fancy log book with all kinds of activities, all kinds of crazy stuff in it. I've only touched the surface. All I really use it for is the, is the flight tracking. But yeah, you can check it out here. Um, Real quick, let me get Simbrief pulled up, because I guess we'll use a Simbrief plan for this. I'm not sure how my popping a Simbrief plan into the, uh, into the G3000 is going to go, but I'm going to, I'm going to do my best. All right, we'll hit new flight. All right, we're going from... Echo Sierra November Quebec to Echo Sierra November Uniform. We are flying the Honda Jet. I believe it's in here. There it is. The default airframe. All right, we'll load this flight plan up. Da 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 da. It looks like we fly the Vaga 4B Star, direct to Vagus, direct to Kettle, then the Keats 3S Star. Sorry, the Vaga 4B Sid, the Keats 3S uh, Star. All right, uh, and we're going to be landing runway 14. All right, Cat, you can come up here for a minute. Let me get. Navigraph loaded. All right. Uh, all right, so I think we're good to go. Uh, okay, so we're in Volanta right now. We can do a plan of flight thing and everything here. Let me... Uh, why is my overlay not working? Anyways, here we go. We'll add a flight plan. We'll import from Simbrief. There we go. Flight plan is ready to go. Now Volanta is going to track everything in the background. Now let me make sure see why the... Overlay isn't working. Oh well, hopefully it works. Oh, it'll probably work once we get in sim. All right, so here we go. We are in the Honda Jet. Let's take out a sweet livery. Uh, we'll take out uh, this one. All right, we want to go to Echo Sierra November Quebec. We'll try live time, live weather. Not, no, not live time. We need to take time way up. We'll go to like 9 a.m. And uh, I'm just going to get loaded in parking right here. All right, here we go. Are you guys in sim? Is the weather absolutely terrible? Sheepdog, what's up? Smokey, what's up? Good evening, guys. So, yeah, if we're going to do, like, one flight tonight after I finish the flight, I don't know what I'm going to do. Might, uh, like, do a quick GA flight around the area that we land at, but turn it to a nice weather preset to check out the scenery. Or we can, uh, or I can call it a night. We'll just figure out when we get there and all that stuff. Oh, it's terrible. Tar, terrible, terrible weather. Um, all right. Okay, cat.
Oh, dude, we're already iced over. I don't know if we can actually fly this. This might be too bad of icing conditions to, uh... To fly this thing in. But, hey, we're, we're gonna try it. Now, does this thing have a tablet in it, or is it all controlled through the G5, G... Through the G3000. <laughs> Raycon, what's up, buddy? Good to see you. Let's check our controls. Oh, I thought the Honda Jet used a stick, or I would have hooked my yoke up. Oh, well, I prefer the joystick anyways. I know that might sound like sacrilege, but... Like, for real. Alright. Um, we have a GPU hooked up right now, so let's uh, turn our battery on. Let's hook up the external power. Dude, I, man, this thing's been forever since I've been in it. Um, all right, windshield heat should be on, cabin heat, engine bleeds are on, trim modes are turned on, fuel, 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 wing ice, okay. Now, where do I control... Let me do this real quick. So... This will make loading my flight plan really quick. I feel like I'm not prepared for the plane. But... I'm gonna do my best tonight. Yo, what's up, Dave? How are you doing, bud? Good to see you. All right, we got our flight plan right here. We'll come back to that shortly. Um, okay, aircraft systems. Fuel. All right, now, where do I do all this set? Is it under sim options? It is. All right, fuel. How much do we need from sim brief here? We need 950 kilograms. All right, there we go. We'll put me and a co-pilot in here. Uh, we don't need any passengers. All right, we'll uh, leave that there. We'll go to initialization. Systems test. Pre-flight. Fire detections in progress. Right on, man. Me too, dude. You guys getting rain down there? We're so we got a little bit today, but we're supposed to get uh, we're supposed to get some decent rain tonight. All right, wait and fuel. We'll sink all from Sim. We don't have any passengers. We don't have any cargo. Fuel on board sink. Landing. Fuel reserves. We'll just put 10. All right. Sink all from Sim. Dot, dot, dot. All right, we're good there. Speed bugs. We'll set all on. Get from Sim. All right, our takeoff speed bugs are on. Perfect. Accept initialization. All right, let's go ahead and... Um... Hold up here.
My anti-ice is on, but it's not clearing my... It's not clearing my windshields. Uh, we'll worry about that once we get the plane started, and if we have to go to a preset, we'll go to a preset. With that said, let's check out the scenery, guys. We're currently at Echo Sierra November, Quebec, Karuna Airport in northern Sweden. And it is super cold. Alright, we are on the ramp. It looks like that is the terminal. So a pretty small airport. From what I understand, this is like the airport to get in and out of some of the ski resorts up here in the north part of Sweden. Popular during ski season as well as during the summer for tourists. Oh, that's sweet. There's an actual clock with an actual time readout. That's awesome. And it has a temperature readout. And then we got 3D piled snow instead of it just being flat. Wing Daddy, what's up, dude? Good evening. I'm hoping we can fly out of this, but I'm a little concerned the conditions are too bad to be flying. Yeah, right. Ooh some snow. Right now we're checking out Echo Sierra November Quebec by Orbex, part of the Swedish Triple Pack. And uh, just giving it a flyby here. KCM, good evening, sir. Go in the terminal here. Looks like people are getting ready to leave. My little Honda jet can't carry very many. We're only going to pilot and co-pilot tonight. All these other people, they're gonna have to fend for themselves. But it looks like there's a 737 right there, so they'll get on that. They're going on that. <laughs> Junior, what's up, dude? Good to see you. Who's in the 737? It's Recon. Good to see you too, man. Not a very big parking lot for an airport. Arrivals and departures. Ooh, there's a private jet. Perfect. What is that? I'm not sure what that jet is. It's a tri engine, small commercial private jet. No idea what that is. And there is an APR. Yeah, Disturbed Sheepdog it is. It's really awesome looking. And you get three airports by the same developer in the pack. I think it's like 24 bucks US. So you figure $8 an airport. And if they all look like this, uh, great stuff, great stuff. It's really nice. I really enjoy, like, the handcrafted snow stuff in it. Like the piles here and stuff like that, instead of it, you know, just being flat, it really, uh, you know, it's one of those little things you notice when you start looking at it, and it really kind of pays off. 
All right, let's try to get this thing going, guys. Uh, great scenery. Great scenery. I'm excited to get down to Echo Sierra November uniform to check that one out as well. All right, let's get back in the plane. All right, iHort, good evening. I'm worried though, my window heat should be on and I can't clear the ice. So I'm gonna get the plane started and hopefully maybe it uses the bleed. I don't know for sure, but let's hope it uses the bleed. All right, now what do I do to start the engine? do I is there a fuel cutoff or anything on this I don't think so oh I have to take my throttle oh wait I have to wait There we go. I have to take them from cut off to idle. That's right. All right, let's get the left engine going here. Let's hope everything goes okay. Let's uh, hit engine start. We'll wait for like 20% on N2. We'll introduce fuel. All right, and we have startup. ITT's rising, N1 is rising. ITT will peak here shortly, I would figure. All right, ITT has peaked and stabilized. Generator is on. Left fuel pressure low. Why do I have a left fuel pressure low warning on? I wonder if it's just because I have my engine spooled down right now. I hope so. Alright, let's bring our uh, right engine started. Alright, we'll wait for 20% on N2. Alright, we'll introduce fuel. It says ice protection not active. Ice protection not active. Um, why? <laughs> okay, never mind. That's for my engine anti ice. Um, Guys, I don't think we're going to be able to fly in this. I can't... Let me make sure I don't have, like, a... I'm turning all my hardware switches on. Because I have hardware set for anti-ice stuff. So maybe I have to have those on. But it says it's on just by the... by the windscreen being green. That means the windshield anti-ice is on, and it's not clearing. Sparky, how's it going? Good evening.
Yeah, look at the icing on our plane. I can't get our windscreen clear with... I can't get our windscreen clear with the, with the onboard anti-ice. So I'm guessing weather change. How's it going, Sparky? How are you doing this evening? We are currently at Echo Sierra November, Quebec. Uh, Sparky, this thing, this airport is phenomenal in sim. Uh, look familiar at all to you? But yeah, it's phenomenal in sim. Uh, Bush Trip Ken. No, there aren't. All the anti-ice stuff is right here. Let me turn off the windshield heat. Let me turn it back on. Alright, so, we're going to do something here. We are going to take our weather to warm really quick so I can de-ice. And as soon as, as soon as I get de everything gets de-iced, we'll go back to a... We'll go back to a weather preset. Otherwise, uh, I don't know what to do, because I can't get this windshield ice to clear. And like I said, my windshield heat is on. Alright, so, we cleared. Let's go to... Here we go, let's go to this one. Alright. Hopefully we'll be okay now. Um, alright, let's get our sim brief flight plan and all that stuff real quick, shall we? Alright. Aircraft systems, cabin power off. Cabin power comes on once we get airborne or we get our, uh... Oh, no, it's right here. There we go. All right. Cabin power is on. Let's get our sim brief flight plan real quick. All right. Request. All right. Um, we'll import... We're going to call that good. We won't fly with VNAV tonight just because, uh, well, we might. Let me get going, and then I'll decide if we go into VNAV or not. Um, we'll worry about that shortly. With that said, let's double check our G3000 here. Our flight plan looks to be good on here. Um... Map settings. How do I get my flight plan? There we go. All right. Um, I think we're going to be ready to go here. Let's go ahead and get my altitude pre-selected. 
sim brief is telling me 41,000, but I don't want to go to 41,000 unless we have to. So we'll go to 32 to start out with. And uh, we'll go from there. Alright, so we're supposed to be taking off runway 3. Alright, so we'll take off runway 3 out of here. Let's go ahead and get our heading bug set for... Zero three zero. All right, zero three zero. Um, all right. I think we are um, good to go, folks. Shall we get to runway... Oh, I need to fix my... Dude, these cameras suck. Sleazy, what's up, dude? How are you doing tonight, man? Um, yo, we are in Sweden right now, <laughs> Sweden right now, flying the Honda jet. We are getting ready. Hey, it was fine, dude. Just had to finish up some stuff. Nothing major. Yeah, micro tubing. But these default cameras are not good. Not good. Let's get going here, guys. One second. I need to text away for a second. like to fly real world conditions, but uh, it's no good. No good. I'm, t dude, I'm, te I'm texting right now. I told you. <laughs> Superior. Superior airmanship. I did not yell at you. I was just speaking loudly. That's what my parents said growing up, too. I'm just talking loud. I think I say that to my wife as well, so I'm, I'm not innocent. All 
right, Recon, I'll let you get down here. I'm going to go ahead and get lined up. Oh boy, that was a really fast pass by the F-22. Alright, now how's the throttle work in this thing? It has the MCT detent, right? Alright. Here we go. I haven't flown this thing for ages, so uh, let's see how this thing goes here. Why aren't my... Oh, there's my V-Speed. Okay, there's 112, rotate. Dart up like a little rocket ship. Holy cow. Alright. Bring our gear up. All right. Let's nose down a little bit. Gain some speed. Let's hope everything's going okay here. Just got ice detected. Hopefully uh, the anti-ice will do its thing here. Check, I guess, real quick. Uh, aircraft systems, icing protection. Yeah, they're all on. TCAS is going crazy since with traffic warm. Um let's see, can I turn that off? Here, not. <laughs> so, uh, we're just going to have the traffic warning tonight. 
Yeah, dude, totally. Just, um, I can't, I don't think I can disable it with this thing. I really doubt it at least. Oh shoot, I need to take my throttle back to the MCTD10. There we go. Thirty-two thousand FMS speed. We'll do two two five. Uh, let's try turning it on the FMS here or V now. All right. Let's go to standard barometer. Hey, what's up, Templar? Uh, yo, we are just, uh, we're flying the Honda jet tonight, man. It's tube and Tuesday. Oh, let me put it down a little bit now, too. It's tube and Tuesday, except we're doing, like, micro tubing tonight. <clears throat> I haven't flown this thing for ages and felt like taking it out, and we're checking out some airstrips by Orbex in Sweden. Uh, we took off from Echo Sierra November, Quebec, and we're flying to Echo Sierra November Uniform right now. We have about a 245 mile flight ahead of us or so. But yeah, doing like a tube liner thing, but, uh, but in a mini one, right? <laughs> but good evening, man. Good to see you. Now, do I have my Navigraph charts dialed up? I do, so I'm linked on my charts too. Nice. This thing has like everything in it, right? I love the G3000. It's so intuitive with the little touchscreen setup it has down here. I wish the screen was touchscreen as well, but uh, the little pad makes it so much quicker and easier than like the G1000. How do I scroll through that? Um, I bet I can't, sadly. All right, we're coming up on 27 on route to 32 right now. What kind of approach did this set us up on, by the way? Or see, oh, we don't have an approach yet. All right, so we want ILS 1.4, I believe, according to Sim. Yes, 1.4. Transition. 
Uh, let me look at Stembry. Yeah, it's the NU850 transition. Alright. Uh, minimums. Da, 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 da. We'll load that. And we'll keep our approach loaded and then we'll activate it here uh, in a little bit. and Wing Daddy Wheel Fly Dan Jr. Good to see you, Dan Jr. Did you get done with all your adventurous expedition that you were on? You get settled. Recon, what's up, dude? And Fallen. Fallen, what plane are you in, dude? What's is that the E50P? What is that the Phenom? I have no idea what that is. on 32 right now a thousand to go and then we'll be on our way to echo sierra november uniform And we are at cruise altitude. We're letting the FMS take us to cruise speed here. I've been well, dude. I've been very well, man. fast does the Honda Jet cruise? Right, well, we're going 400 knots right now, ground speed. Not bad at all. Guys, we are off going south through Sweden right now. <clears throat> and then, like at the top of the screen right now, the stream. That status bar, that's Volanta that does that. So easy way to get that on your stream if you're streaming and looking for something like that.
Also, bad news. Uh, I said last night that PMDG, they were going to make a surprise announcement at, at FS Weekend in, uh, in Europe next month. Well, now they're not going to. Instead, they're going to make their secret announcement at FS Expo this year. So, we'll just have to wait and see how that goes. And then today, there is some there is some news today in the flight sim world. Just Flight showed some updates of an update on their Tomahawk. Uh, this thing is looking phenomenal. Here, here we go. Uh, boom. So now the the uh, the Tomahawk is going to have a full tablet with a walk around system with checklists, interactive walk around, and then it's also going to have a wear and tear system where if systems wear out inside the plane over time, state saving, new tablet, uh, everything is coming to it. So. Seems like uh, A2A has kind of lit a fire under some of the devs on what they bring in planes now. Maybe, just maybe, we'll see Just Flight go back over their older aircraft and add and add the same thing. Maybe, maybe that's overly wishful, but. Uh, We'll see, right? Doka, what's up, buddy? How are you doing, sir? Good evening. Hey, we're looking at the Tomahawk coming out by Just Flight here, hopefully soon. Soonish. They're finally starting to show uh, information about it more and more. And then beyond ATC, the new AI uh, um, AI ATC service announced their pricing today. It's going to be a $60 base fee, which comes with offline AI ATC with offline voices. And then to get the premium voices and the premium service... It, Premium voices and a full a AI traffic. It's gonna cost credits, units, which units you uh, you buy. Um, from what I understand and from what I've read, it looks like if you're using the full premium services with it all the time. It looks like the uh, the cost is going to add up pretty quick, but uh, from what I've looked at from previews and stuff over the day, uh, the offline AI voices uh, they're they're not bad at all, and there's over 50 of them you're going to get with just the one-time purchase. So I don't know. Be cool to see 60 bucks. Yeah, yeah, I haven't I haven't used say intentions either, but it's uh it's a monthly fee, right? Yeah, I've never tried it, man. I'm sure if I, you know, did the did stuff, the ATC stuff more, it'd be definitely definitely worth it. Maybe I need to try them. Maybe I need to try them on stream sometime, just to give them a whirl and let you guys see how they how they work. <clears throat> we'll see, though. I haven't ever messed with any of them.
All right, now question. Do we see top of descent on our G3000? We do see top of descent. Perfect. Designed by Dave. Thank you for coming out, man. Have a good night. Take care, dude. Uh, okay, map settings, inset window. Or we, let's leave our VNAV display on and see if it's going to work right. Oh, here's where I probably turn, okay, I can turn my traffic. Well, it is off. Traffic settings. Cass. It's been fine for now. As long as they're not flying on top of each other, it seems to do okay. But it doesn't matter. It's not making any annoying sounds or making my plane go crazy as far as I can tell, so we should be okay. Uh, otherwise, everything is going fine, it looks like. We have 1,500 pounds on board. We're burning 1,400 pounds per hour right now. But... Um, we don't have a long time to go still. Doka! Nice, dude. Stream away, man. I'll have to drop in on you sometime, dude. Take care, dude. Check you later, man. Here, let's do this, too. Boom. Hogwarts Legacy. Nice. I have that on my PlayStation, but I haven't... Probably got about six or seven hours into it, and haven't haven't touched it since good game though from what I've played yeah it was cool and like it like the setting and everything really captured you and stuff like, it really feels like you're in the world of Harry Potter when you play the game. Immersive, if you will. Alright, so, we are on our way to Echo November Sierra Uniform. Uh, when we hit Echo November Sierra Uniform... Um... We'll probably take, like, a bush plane out and maybe fly a little bit to the south or something. There's another airport to the south. There's not a lot of airports out here. But we'll figure out what we do when we get to Echo Sierra November uniform. Might call it an end of the night, end of the night stream, uh... Oh, dudes, I ch picked up this super sweet game. I don't know if you guys have seen it, but it's called, uh, is it called Bellatro or Bellarto? I can never remember which one it is. Here, I'll tell you. Uh, yeah, Bellatro. It's this, like, poker roguelike game, roguelike game. So, you play poker hands trying to beat the ante or the bet you're supposed to beat in a set number of hands. And, like, as you play, you get these jokers and items and stuff that do all kinds of stuff to your hands. Uh, and you play as you play, you play, and when you die, you lose everything and you start over. So that's where, like, the roguelite feature comes in. Like, so if you've ever played, like, Binding of Isaac, Slay the Spire, uh, Hades, any of those games like that. You know, that kind of gameplay. But you're playing poker while you, <laughs> while you do it. It's pretty wild. It's really cool. Really cool game. 
and it's like a whole 60 megabytes it takes up in hard drive space or something that's like that but the graphics and the presentation in it are uh, are fantastic I feel like I could play that game in the background while we do like Tube and Tuesday kind of stuff. I'd say we could do it right now, but I think I have to do the tutorial again since it'll be on this computer and not on my laptop. I already did it on the laptop, but uh, we can, I can check it out, I guess. Sid, you absolute legend. What is up, dude? How are you doing, sir? What are you up to this evening? I'm doing well, dude. I'm doing very well, man. Can't stay up until your time anymore. Back to real life with the kids in school and stuff. <laughs> Ah, still working, still working. There you go. Well, that's it, dude. Thank you for stopping by, Sid. I appreciate it, man. Uh, so, it looks like we are... Well, we're coming up on our top of descent here. Is it going to show me... Okay, now, top of descent. Do I have to manually select it in the Honda Jet? Or will it automatically update my altitude for me? I have no idea, guys. We're just going to fly to it and see if it automatically updates my altitude based off of my flight plan here. The 10,000 feet at Kettle. Or if it's gonna automatically do it or if I'm gonna have to set it to 10,000 on here. I don't know. Like I said, I flown the Honda Jet like once and back then when I flew it, I wouldn't I wouldn't. I don't think the VNAV worked on it. In fact, when the Honda Jet first came out, I think it took a while for a patch to come out to add VNAV to the Honda Jet. Or I believe, I believe that's how it went. So I do have to set the altitude. All right. Wait, do you mean like, should I set it at the very, oh, I should set it at the very end altitude, right? At where I'll uh, acquire the localizer at. Um, okay, so that will be da, 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 2,500 feet. Or while I'll grab the, grab the glide slope back. Yeah, that's what my final fix is showing on my chart right now. Or the ILS runway 14 up here at uh, Echo Sierra November Uniform. I assume it's going to automatically update my nav info. I hope. Okay, it did. It did.
All right, and the VNAV just took over. Uh, okay. Am I going to have to use speed brakes here? It's kind of looking like it. I just messed up my VNAV. Shit. Why is my VNAV not working? Okay, let's turn autopilot off. Autopilot nav. VNAV. Oh no. Okay, so I broke something. Alright, so we are going to descend this manually. I wonder why I can't get the VNAV to re re reactivate. I guess. Still a bummer I did something wrong or Anyways, so yeah, VNAV's not reactivating for me. Oh well, we'll just make do. Alright, text in a second, guys.
All right, I think VNAV might be working now. I could be totally wrong, but. We're catching up on the descent path right now, so I hoping when we intersect it, uh, it'll take back over. If not, then we'll go back to manual and fly it in like that. Plane is slowing down right now. I just, I think VNAV's working. I had, it's on, uh, it's on speed hold. Oh, I gotta take it back up to MCT, right? Okay, so no, it's not working. I feel like I'm like way too high still, but um, hopefully everything goes okay here. <laughs> Now we should be at 10,000 right now. Ugh. Or above 10,000. All right, well, here we go, guys. We have LNAV, at least. Did I activate the approach? There we go. my wind here real quick. It's not very favorable for 1-4. Okay. 
now it is. And let's get below 250. Ice detected warning is uh, yo. is popping up here. Red Baron, what's up, dude? Yo, hey, we are flying the Honda jet tonight, dude. We're doing micro tube and Tuesday. We're in Sweden. We're checking out part one of the uh, of the Swedish triple pack. Uh, what P fifty one skins? Man, how are you, man? <clears throat> All right, so yeah, we're just gonna land up here. We're gonna check it out. And then we'll figure out what we do, folks. Oh, I did not know that, Red Baron. I'll have to check them out, though. Uh, I think I have Orbex open right now. Let's look. Orbex. Uh, what's it under? But I have not seen any uh, P51 P51 liveries. I'd like a sweet livery for the. Hey, my VNAV took over. What do you know? I'd like a sweet livery though. Just messed it up again. Okay, I need to get my V speed. Um, 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 aircraft systems. Uh. There they are. Speed bugs. Landing. Get from sim. All on.
right, let's bring the sim up. Let's start slowing down some more. Flaps. All right, and we are at approach speed right now. everything worked out in the end I guess uh, seems like I busted it up mid-flight somehow with my uh, with my speed hold I'm not sure what I did wrong but uh, it's okay right We are landing at Umea right now. Umea, Umea, Umea. I don't know how to say it. <laughs> Echo Sierra November uniform. I feel like I need to uh, look it up on Google.
500. That was a very relaxed call out. <laughs> 400. I feel like I need to be going a little bit slower still, even. But it's okay. Graham, what's up, dude? How are you doing tonight, man? Good to see you. I don't know if this goes where I want it to go, though. Uh, I think I'm going to a dead end, guys. <laughs> We're at this new scenery by Orbex, so hey, it's a good way to good way to check it out here. I love the damn piles of snow. Maybe I'm being a little too simpleton, but... Alright, uh, hello folks. Let me turn my Honda jet around in here. Let me blow your faces off with my jet exhaust. Don't mind it. All right, let's get back on the runway. That's apparently the wrong turn. Right, let's bring our flaps up. Oh well, we got to see. We got to see a part of the airport that we'd probably not see, maybe with drone cam, but... We're explorers. Here comes a uh, wheel fly. Come on in, wheel fly. Okay, this is where we want to go. Perfect. I was going to ask you if we went the right way. Totally belong here, folks. All right, well, hey, we made it in one piece here. So, uh, there's that. Wheel fly. Hey, hey, 
Yo, 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 yo. Yo, 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 yo. Wheel fly, did you forget your landing gear? <laughs> oh, no, you have... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. All right. Got it stopped. <laughs> Got it stopped. <laughs> um, yeah, so we're at Echo November's... Echo Sierra November Uniform. I need to find out how to pronounce this real quick. The following pronunciation is brought to you by PronounceNames.com. L. Umel. 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 Okay, so we're at Umel. Echo November Su or Echo November Sierra Uniform. Umel. Uh, we are checking out the Orbex Triple Pack tonight. We're on part one and two tonight. We checked out the first airport, Garuna. Echo Sierra November Quebec when we first started, and now we're at Echo Sierra November Uniform. Umel. Um. Let's go ahead and shut the plane down, shall we, before we get out of it and all that stuff here. All right, let's bring the engines to cut off. All right, cabin power is off. Engines are shutting down. All right, we'll turn the generators off. I think we can open the doors with this thing here. All right, there we go. All right, and now we will flip the battery off. And there we are, that's the Honda Jet, guys. Super chill little plane. Little little mini tube with a G three thousand, super chill. Um, yeah, let's take a, let's look at the airport now. Echo Sierra November U uniform. Whoa, 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 whoa! Derp, what's up? North Europe, dude. North Europe. All right, come on in. Oh, I stole the parking spot. We'll fly. My bad. <laughs> little bit of everything here tonight. All right, so here it is. Amel. That's where we were a little bit ago when we took the wrong turn over in this little area here. Snow clearing equipment. Even blended custom road textures into the default scenery. Looks pretty, pretty damn good. All right, uh, yeah, let's take another look coming from the south here, and then we're gonna check out the terminal and all that fun stuff. More snow plows. Derp, what plane is that you're in? What's the E-50P? I think I asked Fallen earlier, but I don't remember if I was told the answer or not. Once again, dude, I love the snow piles. <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I yeah. I I'm, I know the plane. Cool, cool, cool. You guys like it? All right. Echo Sierra November uniform. Does this have a terminal? It does. Oh, this is a fancy bigger one here. Can you go in the toilets? Oh, yeah, but there's nothing in them. <laughs> Fancy little cafe area. Dude, I could totally go for some coffee right now. Too bad it's like almost 10 o'clock at night and uh, coffee and 10 o'clock at night don't really go together. But sounds absolutely amazing right now. I wonder if there's any, like, good decaf coffee you can buy. Is that, like, the parking setup for taxis and stuff? If it is, that is absolutely perfect. All airports need that. Um... Yeah, so that's that, guys. That's Amal. Umal. Once again, another fantastic scenery. So part two of the three-part Orbex scenery pack. The Swedish triple pack. Uh, if you guys want to check out this scenery or if it interests you, uh check out that link right there. That is the scenery I'm flying tonight. It is out now, and I think it is $24. Oh, my webcam's off. I think it's $24 um, US. So you get three sceneries, $24. Not bad. Not bad. And they're definitely worth it for at eight bucks a pop. Great stuff. Um. Okay, now what do we do from here? What time is it? Okay, so it's almost 10 o'clock. Um, I should probably wrap it up then. Have another early night. And then tomorrow night, I will get started at our regular time. And we'll, uh, we'll finish off tomorrow night proper. We'll have a proper stream. We'll finish off this scenery preview. We'll be on part two tomorrow night. Um, I don't know if we'll fly this again or... I kind of want to fly the ATR, but if I... But if I fly the ATR on the route tomorrow, it's going to be like an hour and a half flight probably, or right around an hour, an hour and a half, uh, wheels up to wheels down. So, uh... You know, we might do that tomorrow. We might fly the ATR, and while we're in the air in the ATR, maybe I can play like Hearthstone or that Bellatro game I just picked up in the background, or we can do tons of stuff. We'll figure something out tomorrow night with what plane I fly. But I really want to fly the ATR. I, I really enjoy the thing. Bursty, what's up, dude? How are you doing, man? Good to see you. And this cat just... just... Get in your little ball. Will not leave me alone. Um. Yeah, so guys, I think I'm going to end it early tonight. Like last night. Uh, try to get some sleep. All that fun stuff. And um, then I'll see you guys tomorrow night. 7.30 Pacific time. And we will uh, we'll, we'll do it proper tomorrow night. We'll finish off this Sweden triple pack. And... Uh, yeah, we'll just fly Tube and Tuesday on a Wednesday. 
I'm, I'm going to commit to the ATR. It's going to be a long flight, but I want to fly the ATR. Uh, yeah. With that said, thank you guys for coming out. I appreciate you all. Thank you so much for flying with me. Orb X, thank you so much for the opportunity to check out these airstrips. Uh, this Sweden triple pack, man. These first two airstrips in it are, uh, are phenomenal, man. Hope Did you check them out yet, Burstix? But yeah, phenomenal for a three pack too. But yeah, it's a short one, man. Like I can't, if I get up in the air right now, I reload the sim, I switch planes, I go grab water. By the time I get back, we have like 20 minutes until I need to go to bed. So I just don't have, I don't have the time to do another flight tonight, sadly. So it's a short one again, but I will see you guys tomorrow night. Um. Who is streaming Flight Simulator right now? Um, let's see here. Hey! Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! Larry Gopnik! Larry Gopnik is streaming. I did not know Larry streamed. Hey, let's go say hi to Larry, guys. Go show Larry some love and let's go bug him. All right, let's go. Let's go see Larry, folks. I did not know Larry streamed. It looks like he has 20 followers. He better... No, he's not followers only. Okay, good. All right. Let's go say hi to Larry. Show him some love. And I'll see you guys tomorrow night at 7.30 for some more tubing action in the ATR tomorrow night, though. Uh, thank you guys for stopping by. I appreciate you all so much. Take care. Be kind to yourselves. And be excellent to each other. Good night, guys.